What is up, guys, and welcome to the Heroic Immersius Raid Heroic Raid Guide. As always, uh, if you want to see the normal mode mechanics and anything that has to do with the normal mode of the fight, go ahead and check out um, the normal mode video, and the normal mode videos of any of the other uh, Siege of Ogrimmar bosses are up for you. Uh, and this is the first heroic that you're going to face, and this fight on heroic is a good first heroic boss. It's very, very simple. There's not really much that has changed. Um, so you just kind of need to be aware of a few things. How we handled this fight is what we did is we had everybody stacked in quadrants. Obviously we had our, uh, our spot set up to spread out to once he split and once he went into, into the transition phase. And that comes over from normal mode. So obviously um, you go back to your normal spots once you're you know into the split phase and you're killing and healing the pools. However, in the first phase, when Emerges is actually up, uh, there is a little bit more of an ability that you have to deal with. You have to deal with a bunch of little ads. So this is an AoEer's um, favorite time of the day. Okay, so what you really want to do is you want to stay in the quadrant, have the range in the back, obviously, and have the melee up front. Don't stand in pools, which is a normal mode mechanic. Don't get hit by the, you know, the sprays or anything else. All the normal mode mechanics still apply. But what you'll do is the pools will spawn a little bit quicker, and because you have everybody on the platform, um, the platform will fill up. So what you're doing is you're constantly kind of rotating the boss around as the pools fill up, and then you move to the next, you know, the next little segment, the next little segment until you kill them. So what you want to do is once all these ads spawn, uh, you have your off tank at the time, grab them, uh, stack them all up, and then you just burst AOE them down. And this mechanic actually is pretty much the only heroic mechanic. Obviously, you do need to DP the ads have more health in heroic mode, so DPSing them with slows and with stuns obviously helps. So as much as you can CC them while you're killing them to make sure that you're getting them all down. And obviously, as the fight goes on, your hybrid healing becomes really necessary. Also, understanding that as these ads hit and they do that AOE explosion onto the raid, um, that this is a great time to pop personal cooldown. So any shields that you have, health stones, keep yourself alive pretty much while you're going back to your stack point and then rinsing and repeating as you see in the video behind you. Um, but that's really all you have to do to kill this thing, guys, is just take a look at how we did it. Um, and you can see that it's pretty easy. It's, it's stack up, you know, burn the boss. When the ads come out, you switch platforms, burn the ads, get back on the boss. He splits, you kill your ad or you heal your ad, you CC them if they're killable. Um, and then as you're running back to reset and go into the rinse and repeat back to phase one, um, you know, make sure that you have your cooldowns ready. Healers have your cooldowns ready so we're popping personals and we're making sure that we're keeping an eye on our health and our health stone as we're running back to stack back up just to try to ease the pain on the healers. Again, um, you do this rinse and repeat. So what you need to do is understand that when the ads are coming out, if you're about to push the boss, you may want to stop DPS on the boss. Uh, that may come into play. So keep... Keep in mind when the ads are about to come out, check to see what Emerseus' health is at and make sure that you're not going to push him in when all the ads spawn because then you're probably going to wipe the pregnant at a bad time. But if you can do those things, guys, you can kill this fight pretty easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, see you in the next one.